Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. If you clicked on this video, you're probably having issues with your Samsung or other smart TV and your Apple AirPlay. For example, if you're trying to play a video on your phone on your Samsung TV, but the AirPlay feature just won't seem to work, this video is for you. We're gonna be focusing on a specific issue that we found is almost never addressed online. And this has to do with the Wi-Fi frequency channel. A lot of smart devices have issues with the five gigahertz frequency channel on your home network. And so in this video, we're gonna show you guys how to split them or how to select two 2.4 gigahertz and use that with your TV and your phone for a successful AirPlay connection. Before we get started with all of that, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. So before we move on to the computer, let me just explain a little bit about what we're going to get into. My home network is AT&T. If you're not on AT&T, you can absolutely still do this and this tutorial will still most likely help you. That being said, your menu and your settings will be specific to your internet service provider. If you're not following along well with the steps that I'm taking inside of the AT&T portal, I would recommend simply searching online for where these settings are in your ISP. What we're gonna do specifically is we're going to assign a specific SSID or Wi-Fi name to the 2.4 gigahertz channel, and we're gonna do the same thing for the five gigahertz channel, effectively splitting the two. This is going to disable something called band steering. Okay, now that you're filled in, let's get hands-on and show you guys how to do this. So the first step is we're going to type in the address bar. For most of you, this is gonna be one 192.168.1.254. This number that we typed in to the address bar is the IP address for our router on the local area network, otherwise known as LAN. And that's typically the address that's gonna bring you to this page here. Okay, so once we're here, we're gonna see something that looks like this. We're gonna navigate over to the Wi-Fi section, okay? And here is where we're going to be able to make those changes. Now, I've already entered my access code if you haven't done that yet, or if you're not sure what I'm referring to, I was prompted for an access code when I first went to this website. And the access code is simply on a label on the side of the router that AT&T provided me. So pretty straightforward there. I'm gonna click into advanced options here under Wi-Fi. As we can see, we have a split. So this is showing the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi configuration. And separately, we have the five gigahertz Wi-Fi configuration. All we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the names so that they aren't the same. We're gonna call this one 2.4. So I just added 2.4 to the end of the network name SSID. And we're gonna do the same thing here, but we're gonna put five, five gigahertz and 2.4. Maybe I'll even put the G, H, and Z letters just to help make that a little bit more apparent. Okay, now that I've made the change, I've scrolled down to the bottom of the page. And in order to make sure that this works properly, we're gonna hit save. So I'll just click save and we'll get some sort of message. We'll press continue. And now at this point, I'm gonna go onto my phone and let's see if we can see the change made to the SSID names. Okay, let me just pull up the network settings on my computer so you guys can see this. We'll go to network and internet here. And I'm just gonna go to enable Wi-Fi momentarily. Go back into network, I'll click into Wi-Fi. We're gonna click show available networks. And now we can see we have the two channels split. We have a five gigahertz and a 2.4 gigahertz. All right, now in order to get that AirPlay working, there's a few last little steps to lock in those changes. First recommendation is to go ahead and reboot your Wi-Fi router. In a lot of cases, this is unplugging for 60 seconds and then plugging it back in. With your phone, either put it into airplane mode and off again or power it on and power it off again some way to go ahead and reset your network settings on your phone. And then the last step is going to be connecting to the 2.4 gigahertz SSID on both your TV and your iPhone. At that point, you won't have any other problems with AirPlay if this was your issue. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about what we just covered, I know it could be a little confusing. Drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. As our channel grows, we are constantly looking for new video topic ideas to cover. So we invite you to add your own video ideas to the comments below. Every commented video idea that we're able to get to, we will create and post for you guys. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.